So tell us about this. Now you have a sibling, so you can speak well to this. I'm an only child. I'm going to have to just sit back and listen. Why does it get so much worse, or can it get so much worse for you guys when you get older? You know, sibling rivalry is so normal in children. It, our siblings are our first rivals, so that's quite normal to compete for mom and dad's attention, their love, their affection. But what happens is when that kind of rivalry is not addressed and it goes on and on into adulthood, that's when it can become very problematic. So it's when it's not addressed to answer your question. And in terms of the things that it gets wor worse over, I mean, I would assume it's things like estate planning, when, a pa when, when someone's parent gets sick and you haven't worked through issues, then you have to suddenly deal with complex issues of finance and health care and power of attorney. Is this where we sort of like see the madness really take hold? Well, that's where you're seeing the estrangement come out because um, years and years of rivalry and resentment are festering. And so suddenly someone who never, siblings who never got along to begin with for adult, their whole adult lives are now having to take care of mom and dad when they're older or, um, you know, try to divide up an estate. That can be brutal. And there is a saying, if you ever want your kids never to speak to each other again, leave them money. Uh, so <laughs> they're just going to fight over it. So um, that's it. But there's also before even those extreme events, there's a lot of resentment as adults and it's interesting to me that men and women compete brothers and brothers compete differently and have different rivalries than sisters two women and brothers do yeah brothers Brother, do. well brothers are very overt in their competition yeah. and it tends to be about the things men tend to compete about in their lives anyway about careers and money and athleticism and women it's a much more underground passive-aggressive um, competition when si when sisters compete and it tends to be about the things women are very focused on such as being a mom yeah. um, being close to their friends mom's attention that kind of thing interesting well we checked in with a couple of folks um, on Twitter on the at WSJ Twitter account to see sort of how they were thinking about this and, and what they thought about si sibling rivalries whether they could be worse as adults one Sydney uh, AV she wrote in and she said unresolved sibling rivalry can play out in ugly ways at a parent's deathbed make peace before that happens uh, Walter Moore he said spend an hour in probate court and you'll get your answer the rivalries get even worse with time when you spoke to folks for your story Elizabeth did you hear similar sentiments very similar sentiments and the, the parents often know this first of all parents aren't only to blame this is a very natural thing that's going on sibling rivalries starting before birth even but um, what's happening is parents will ignore it for a long long time and then on their deathbed often make a plea please speak to your brother please promise me that you'll be friends and and that never really works unless there's some real repairing that's gone on before that and again these a, a sick parent and dividing your parents estate those are probably some of life's most stressful saddest events so can you imagine trying to go through them with people you don't like no I think that's a, that's a very good point and yet I'm always astounded when people close to me who do have siblings they can fight they cannot ostensibly like each other that much they can be seem like they're from completely different planets and yet when something goes wrong when one of them is threatened maybe it's from from health or from somebody else the other sibling is suddenly right there suddenly they jump in bed they're holding each other like they just they've got their back I mean that's an, such an odd turn to me yeah, it's really interesting, but I talked to people for my column that were that was exactly the issue. Someone's spouse dies, and then they're right there. These are siblings that were at each other's throat the day before. And did you find, in terms of things that people can do very quickly, Elizabeth, to make it better before you know it's too late? What were some of the strategies that you learned from folks? Well, you want to first look at yourself and really decide, you know, I want to go through the hard work of making this better because what you're going to have to be willing to do is hear your sibling's view of you. And it's just, if you've got a rival or a sibling, it's not going to be as rosy as your own view of yourself. 